All right, for this lesson, we're going to learn how to build a little game of life where you get to choose your car, your career, and your house. So we're going to go ahead and get started by picking a theme. Let's see if we can find a good theme. Let's just use this one. So I'm going to just go ahead and give this a title. And then let's go ahead and... put in a shape. So let's see what can we have. Maybe the go button will be this one. Why not? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw my little button here and I'm going to put some, let's see if we double click in it here. If we do control shift E, that should center it. You can also uh, use the menus up here to center. And center it with this as well. Okay, so then we're going to just say go or begin, and that's really small, so let's change the font size. Not too big. All right, so you've got our shape here. Maybe if you want to change the color of the shape you can okay so here's just where you would change the color in this little paint bucket and you can choose the color to, that you want to use so we've got a nice uh, beginning slide here and then let's go ahead and create some other slides so if you click on this little arrow you can find different types of slides so maybe maybe we'll use these ones okay so i'm going to go here i'm going to say choose your car and then I'm going to want to go ahead and give three different choices. So let's draw some shapes. And for these, let's use this here. So I'm going to draw one. If I hold shift down, it'll make it a perfect square when I draw this. Okay, and then I can change the color. And then if I want to copy this, I can do control C after I click on it and then control V to paste and then I can move this other one over let's do this go here and then control V I'll paste one more and let's put it here okay so I've got maybe three choices there um, if I just go ahead and double click inside of it then I can hit control shift E and then we're going to put choice one here so maybe we'll do font size 30 let's see if that works one okay that's fine and we'll double click in here Control shift e centers and then we'll do a font size of 30 again and then we'll do two and then double click in here Control shift e to center and then font size of 30. all right so then i'll hit three so we've got choice one two and three and then I can do something similar for my other slides so I'm gonna have a choose your car choose your job and choose your house so because I already have this one slide built I'm gonna go ahead and copy this or duplicate it so I'm gonna right click and say duplicate slide then do it again on this one right click duplicate slide okay now I've got three different choices that I can make so I've got car I'm gonna change this one to job and then I'm gonna change this last one to house all right so now we've got our three sets of choices now we just need to make sure we have uh, three cars three jobs and three houses so what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and we will add another slide here with this little menu here and maybe I'm just gonna have like a blank slide here for that one okay so let's go ahead and insert an image well first of all let's let's go ahead and put an arrow because we're going to end up using this slide uh, something similar again so let's go ahead and put in a shape we'll put in an arrow and i'll just use this one here and we can draw the arrow down at the bottom signifying that this is the button you click to move to the next slide and you'll see why i'm drawing this arrow first uh, in a second here but let's give it a color we'll say green that's will be pretty obvious to see there so let's go ahead and insert now um, 
we'll insert a, a picture of the of the car here but before we do that let's let's duplicate this slide so we're going to duplicate it so we're coming over here we're duplicating it so we're going to have three cars and then I'm going to just keep duplicating until I have nine total of these slides because I'm going to want three cars uh, three houses and three jobs so I just go ahead and duplicate this and I've got one two three four five six seven eight so I need one more and I've duplicated it. Okay, now I can go ahead and start adding my, my cars and things. But just to make things a little bit easier to see over here, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to drag the job up all the way. So it's after three of these blank slides. I'm going to do the same thing for the house. Click on it, go it. So there's three in between. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my car now finally. If I click on insert, image, search the web, I can go ahead and look for a car. Okay, I've got one here. Let's add that and click insert. Okay, and if I want to move this around, resize it, I can. I'll go to the next one, add another car. Go to insert image, search the web. Okay, we'll put this one in. And then we'll go to the next one and we'll add the next car. Insert image, search the web. Grab this one. All right, so we got three different cars there. Now we're going to go to the jobs and we'll find three different jobs. We'll go insert, image, search the web, and okay, let's go ahead and put that one in. And if we want to add a title um, for, if we want to add a title for here, we could say like programmer. You can do the same thing for the cars if you'd like to as well in the job, in case it's not obvious what the job is or the house or that kind of thing. So that didn't work. So let's go ahead and try another image. Uh, maybe this one. There we go. And if you hold shift when you click on the corner of this, it'll help keep your aspect ratio where it should be. All right, so you can go ahead and add your three jobs here, and then we'll add your three houses. And I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so now I've added all of my three cars. I've got my three jobs, and then my three houses. And so those are all done. So now what I need to do is figure out how we can get from the different slide to slide by clicking on the buttons. So let's go ahead and click on the first one. We've got this begin button here. If I click on it, then I can go ahead and link this to the other slides. So in order to do that, looks like I might have to expand my menu out here. Um, we've got this insert link button. It uh, looks like we can do control K to bring it up as well. So we're going to link this to another slide. So I'll click slides in this presentation. And this one needs to go to um, the choose your car slide. Okay, so I click on that, hit apply, and that should take us to choose your car. So next I'm going to go to choose your car, and I've got three choices, so I'll click on the first one, and then um, you can click on this menu up here, or you can do control K. So I'm going to go ahead and hit slides in this presentation, and this one should take me to, uh, let's say it'll take me to this slide number three. So I'll go to slide number three and hit apply, and then I'll click on this button. This button should take me to here, which is slide four. So if I do control K, it brings up this link. I can click on slide four, hit apply. And then I'm gonna click on this one and this should take me to slide five, which is this car here, the Lamborghini. So if I do control K, it brings up the link. I can click slides on this presentation and hit slide five. Okay, so that's working great. Now I'll need to go over to the actual car pages and make a link for the buttons. So I'm going to click on the button, control K, it brings up the link, and this button for the car should take me 
After I'm done viewing the car, it should take me, take me to the choose your job one, which is number six. So I go to slide six, choose your job. And I'll do that for each of these three cars. So every time they click on the green button after they get to the car, it'll take them to their job choice. So control K. I'm going to go ahead and go to choose your job, hit apply, and then I'm going to go to this last car slide here, click on the button, control K, go to slides in this presentation, and choose your job. Okay, so that's now all of our cars are linked to this next job slide. So we're going to go to the job slide, and we're going to go to the job buttons and now link these to the different jobs. So control K, slides in this presentation. First job is on slide seven, hit apply, click two, control K, go to slides. The next job is on slide eight, hit apply, and then I'll go to three, do control K, find the job, which is on slide nine, the last job, hit apply. Okay, now that I've done that, I need to go to the job pages, or the job slides, and click on the arrows and do control K, and bring these jobs over to have them link to the choose your house. Okay, I'm going to hit apply, do the same with this one, click on the link, control K, and uh, the next house is 11, sorry, 12, hit apply, no, that's wrong. Um, let's fix this. Yeah, that's the wrong place. Okay, we'll click here. Uh, control K. We're going to uh, let's close that out and fix it. So this should take us to choose your house. There we go. Let me just make sure I did this one correctly. Choose your house, yes. Okay, so we're going to go click on here. Control K. Go to choose your house, hit apply, and then we're we are getting close, getting close. So this now we're on the house slide. We can go ahead and link these to the other homes. So we've got slide 11, apply, come here, control K, slide 12, apply, and then three, control K, and we'll go to slide 13 if I can find it. It doesn't want to scroll down that far. Okay, let's see here. It's giving me a hard time. Maybe if I move my window up, I'll be able to see it better. Let's see if this will fix it. I just manually push down until I go there. Okay, now it's working. That was weird. Okay, so that linked all those slides to the houses. And then if we want, we can have a, a final page. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do one more slide at the very bottom. And let's just say, have a great life. Okay, and that'll be the end of it. If you want this to, let's go ahead and do, let's move this down. We'll put this below here. Okay, so we can go back to the houses and do control K and let's bring this to the last slide, which it doesn't. Let's give me that same issue. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my arrow keys and see if we can get that in. There we go. And we'll get these other ones in as well. Control K, go to slides in this presentation. I'm just gonna use my arrow keys because it wasn't working the other way. Okay, and then hit apply. And then do the last one, control K, slides into this presentation. I'm going to get to slide 14, and that is finished. Now if I wanted to at the end, once I have this, I could um, create a start over button if I want. So maybe we'll do that. Um, we'll give this a color here. And let's go to our paint bucket and double click in here. Let's maybe make it 24 size font, control shift E to center and say, start over. Okay. All right, so then if I click on this button, I can then do control K, bring up the slides and then just go to the first slide. All right, so now if I were to actually 
um, play this game, then let's see if the 